Hi everyone, so again, another weekly shop. So this is Aldi again. Um, I spent, <laughs> I wasn't expecting Alice to be on that, I was expecting Miles to be on that. Squeakiness, um, yeah, I spent 65 pounds, got a couple of little extras. And um, yeah, I'll show you what I got. And at the end, I will tell you my meal plan as well. And as always, we get, this is Monday. I prefer to just food shop on a Monday. It's the only day I really have to do it uh, without obviously running too low on things. And then on Wednesday, we get our extra fresh fruit and veggies from the farmer's market. Um, and then also we have a lot of our own meat. So like we've got sausages this week, Graham's bought back. I can't remember what else, beef mints. Um, I've got chicken in the freezer that I'm going to use as well. Okay, so starting over here, we have got just some, we do actually have a punnet of grapes, but me and Miles have already demolished those because we were starving. So we've got pomegranate seeds, raspberries, I got the fruit salad med medley, I'm going to have that today, just as a bit of convenience. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of fresh berries. I still have some blueberries from our farmer's market last week. I bought these because I've never tried them and I really have just seen them in. I didn't see them in the last week, so um, yeah, lychees. Really fancy some grapefruit. Something really lovely about grilled grapefruit, which I haven't had in a long time. So I've got two of those, I think they were like 40p each. I've um, got some edamame made bean stir fry. I had this last week. This one's 30 cents off. I'm going to do it tonight as a meal with some baby corn. I've um, got some broccoli because you can never have too much broccoli. Um, some baby plum tomatoes, they look good. Some sweet mini, mini peppers. And then I noticed they've got some new dips in. These are obviously, I'm still doing dairy free, which is absolutely going fine. I feel great. My skin's looking great. Um, obviously it does say limited edition, so I don't know how long they're gonna have this out, but the Perrinet's dip, it's a fresh one. Fancy trying that. Uh, got some Maris Piper potatoes. I tried this last week, it was delicious. Like when you open it, you look at it and you think, mm, it didn't look like much, but actually when I, like you put it in the microwave, tip it out and it's like a massive, it's got the rice in there, it's got the chili, it's got a little bit of heat, but not too much. It's delicious, like honestly, it was such, such an easy, quick filling lunch. Um, also, I got one of these last week, but it was a little bit different. I think it had the meat, the veggie meatballs. This one has the sweet potato falafel. This was 30% off, so I'm going to have that for a lunch probably today because it needs using. So, um, yeah, would recommend these. These are delicious. And then also, I thought I'd just bite the bullet and buy the vegan mayo because I do use normal mayo when I want something, when we have something particular that I want like a dip on. So... Um, I'm going to try this and see how it is before it kind of goes because I don't know if it's going to stay in store. Um, I got, these are on offer at the moment. So I got the vanilla and then I tried the blueberry last week, which was so nice. And I went through it really quickly. Um, actually, Violet tried it. She liked it and so did Miles. So I got two of those. I got these for Violet for, purely for school. And um, they were... £1.49 I think, three of each, so three strawberry, three raspberry, three cranberry. I couldn't find the cherry flavour, that's the only downside. So I'm hoping she's going to be fine with these, I'm sure she will. Um, sausage rolls, great for pat lunches and um, like lunch ideas. And then also I thought I would try these no beef pasties, these are in the frozen section. I think they're £1.19 for two. Um, I tried the sausage rolls last week. They were really, really good. I've got a couple left. I thought I'd try these and actually try them again with the kids, see what they think. Um, I was looking at the fish burgers and they do like the southern fry, they do the breaded and then they have these ones which are the tempura battered. I fancy like a burger or something for lunch or even just a last minute meal. Um, or, you know, just to keep in the freezer. These are the only ones without milk in. So if you're looking for like a fish burger, these are the only ones. Obviously they've got like wheat and stuff like that, but they don't have milk in. So I've got those just to put in the freezer. Some breaded ham, uh, potato wedges, garlic and onion coated. Again, I've checked the labels. There's no milk in these, which is good because a lot of seasonings, again, can contain it. But these wedges don't. I actually tried the double, double chocolate ones of these last week. Honestly, I've had one a day, like one a night, as like my evening treat. So good, like even Graham tried one. Um, I decided to get the salted caramel. These are $1.99 for three. 
Um, I got the Little Delight yogurts, the little fromage phrase for Miles, and then I got these for Graham and the kids, the mint chocolate. I actually really don't like mint ice cream, so they're gonna enjoy those. There's a pack of four in there. Uh, let's go over here. We've got king prawns. Graham loves these with these seafood stick things. And then we've got the Mary Rose sauce as well. He loves that sort of thing for lunch. Just easy. I bought these last week. They were really, really good. I did actually overcook them once. But um, yeah, weirdly, everybody really liked them. They were just quick and convenient. Great for breakfast as well. And just stick in like a sandwich, like a toasted sandwich. Um, I got two lots of oat milk, garlic and onion, uh, pasta sauce. Really liking that, it's just really convenient because um, you can just top it up with lots of vegetables or lentils or you know add extra tomato paste just to like, you know, make it a bit more richer. Um, I add a little bit of soy sauce sometimes to it as well, Worcester sauce. I got some shortcut spaghetti, uh, some sauce for meatballs. I haven't tried this one, so it's just a tomato and basil. Mm -hmm. Uh, tomato soup just to stock up really everyone really likes that and then um, some of the mini pepperamis crispy duck this is so so good if you haven't tried it this has been mine and graham's like friday night treat and then also got the garlic and herb spatchcock chicken we all like this as a family it divides really nicely and cooks really well and i just serve it with loads of like roasted veggies i got some really quick roasted potatoes do you know when you just want something in your freezer that's just so convenient? I wish I'd had these yesterday because we had a, a lamb and I was at work all day and I really wanted some roast potatoes but we just didn't have enough time because, yeah, it was just the inconvenience of it and I didn't have potatoes either. So they're going to go in the freezer. Again, the coating's fine on that. Some French fries. Kids really like those. Whole milk for miles mainly. Strawberry and apple bear paws. These are on offer and they're sort of, they've got, um... A baby event thing going on like in most shops at the moment so their bare paws are in there 199 i think some ice rings tortilla chips these are milk free by the way it says vegetarian but they are actually milk free it's literally just corn maize corn maize a little bit of sunflower um, oil and a little bit of salt so they're really good as a quick snack evening treat um with the dip that's what i was thinking so these are also milk free if you're wondering, literally just oats. The second ingredient was sugar. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just, again, a quick a quick breakfast for me. Um, and they're not, they're not too bad on sugar. Um, and these also are milk free. I've tried these before, the pecan pie. They also have the cashew ones and they have, I can't remember the other ones, but it's like a green box. Violet likes those for school. And again, just kids snacks, still bars, mini rolls. Got some size five junior pull-up nappies for Miles. Love these ones. Um, these, again, these are nice little weekend treats for the kids. The hazelnut waffles, chocolate chip brioche rolls. Again, sometimes they have those with their breakfast. And then also some wholemeal, best of both. Bread, some wraps for lunches. Mini cheese bakes. The che I just thought I would get something a little bit different. Um, some chocolate pillows, some crispy bites. I think these might be like the Weetabix minis with chocolate chips. Anyway, I'm sure the kids read them. And then we've also got some sweet and salty six pack of um, popcorn, which I really like as a quick evening snack or an afternoon snack. And then I also noticed that they've got the huge, hello, <laughs> hi. I was just worked open the door, the huge, big bottles of the fabulosa this is the pixie dust it was one pound 69 i think so really good value it's huge i'll show you the original one i've got so yeah usually i pay a pound for this bottle so this one's one pound 69 so it's a really good value they've got lots of cleaning stuff in at the moment and then also i needed to get another diffuser for our room i have the i've literally just run out of the I think it might be the lime basil mandarin or something it's really lovely scent but i thought i'd try this one these are three pounds 49 they last for ages the other one that i have was in there from november so um yeah i would highly recommend the diffusers they're so so good so fragrant i have literally three dotted around the house so yeah that is grocery haul for this week Okay, Miles is having a little bit of a danger nap, but he hasn't napped all day. So I thought, right, I'm just gonna quickly share my meal plan before um, I just forget and I wanna get this video out. 
So tonight I'm going to use up that stir fry, the edamame stir fry. I've still got some brown rice noodles from last week. I thought, I think I bought like two or three packets. Um, so I'm going to do that with the, I've got chicken that's defrosting, like chicken strips. So uh, I'm going to make like a satay chicken stir fry with brown rice noodles. The satay sauce is basically peanut butter and a stock cube and you just gradually add stock to peanut butter on the hob and you just mix it and it just comes into like a really nice sauce so simple um so we're gonna have that for tonight tomorrow i'm gonna do toad in the hole which is basically sausages in like a massive yorkshire pudding the yorkshire pudding recipe i tend to go for is if you go on the i'll try and get it linked if you go on the good food website BBC Good Food web website, they have um, a Yorkshire pudding recipe that I use all the time. It's like four eggs. I think it's like 100 ml of milk, 100 ml of plain flour, something like that. It's really basic, but I know it's got like quite a lot of eggs in it. So I'm gonna do that with like broccoli and some like onion gravy. That was one of Graham's requests. He loves toad in the hole. Um, and also we're using our own sausages, which are the, I think they're just the pork best ones. Um, Wednesday I'm going to do like a roast night so we're going to do have a roast roasted spatchcock chicken which you've seen the garlic and herb one and then I'm going to do roasted potatoes vegetables really easy I might do some homemade Yorkshire puddings with that as well um, and Thursday I plan on doing a slow cooker beef casserole just get that in slow cooker really early lots of vegetables I'm going to add in like tin potatoes last because they're pretty much cooked so i'm going to add in those last um again serve it with like green veg probably a lot of frozen veg just see what i've got in um i think i've got like a mixed bag of like cauliflower broccoli and carrots i think i might use that of the frozen stuff it's just so convenient so that's basically like a one pot dish and it's just leave it there all day um, and then on Friday, we're going to do homemade pizza. As always, I have my pizza dough recipe on the recipe playlist, which is linked in the description bar. It's very basic. Um, I'm going to try it with the um, vegan cheese, see how that goes. Um, but yeah, everyone loves that. I might add some like little nibbly bits with that. Um, that I usually put in the um, oven. And then Saturday, we usually have like a takeaway night or... Oh, actually, no. Saturday, we're going to have the duck the crispy duck again i usually serve that with frozen bits like nibbly bits whether it's um what is it not scampi calamari yeah graham loves that it's just a really easy dinner as well and then sunday i'm gonna do just a basic bolognese easy everyone loves it serve with some garlic bread or whatever so yeah that is gonna be a meal plan for this week i hope you're well lunches are pretty much either soup sausage rolls i've got some of those things in the freezer wherever i can find the freezer i might just put a few things on um snacky plates i've been loving those plant-based bowls so if i'm not at work i might have one of those um like chicken noodles the kids love those instant noodle things although i didn't get any this week actually um yeah toasties I've got, I've got a toasty maker the kids really like a ham and cheese toasty um that sort of thing that's pretty much what we've been having for lunch just the basic stuff um yeah so anyway i hope you're well i hope you're safe and you know we're obviously in week three of lockdown getting through it slowly <laughs> i'm pretty exhausted to be honest um but routine is good for me so that's the only good thing about this for our family personally is having a bit of routine. We have got some. So yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.